Welcome to Comic Cocktails. Welcome to Comic Cocktails. We're gonna do a review. This review is for Barrel Seagrass, right? Sea yes. Rye, so it's a rye whiskey finished in Martinique rum, Madeira, apricot, brandy, barrels. All that? All yeah. different barrels, or is it just one? Well, it goes big from one. No, it goes from barrel. one to another. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, so it sits in like a Martinique barrel, and then, then it they just move like it. Goes. Yeah. And then it ends in an apricot brandy barrel. I like apricot brandy. Cause I'm down here. Uh, cask strength. There's six thousand two hundred eighty-six bottles. This fifty-nine point five six percent alcohol. Them. We own this. It's hundred nineteen proof. You guys have already had. Uh, we've already been done that, huh? This is Jennifer. That's me. Holy shit. <laughs> that, Look at the dent in this one. Now that has some fucking kick in your ass. And even in that glass. Oh, it does. Hold on. That was, that was a lot. It is burny. But it's very tasty. Caramel. It's really tasty. Buttery. I had the taste and then it just like burned down in me. Hold on a minute. It has a lot of... It does have some good oak properties, but not like vanilla oak. Like a fresh cut oak. Like white oak. Um, so Martinique rum barrels is interesting because Martinique rum is definitely got like that vibrant, earthy, mineral-like rum. It's not like a normal rum barrel. Um, right. No char, none of that. It's not that bad. How much no, do you pay for this? No, it's really thing? good. 89. 80, yeah, it's like 89. That's a lot. <laughs> um, I think I this is the one that made my lips numb because it's starting to happen right now. <laughs> It's, a little dab of water in it. It's not really going to affect it. It's so overproof. I, I only I only have bury me alive. <laughs> Did you just pour more? Water. I thought we were pouring water in it. <laughs> we are, but to, you can't pour water into it until you've... you've uh, hold on. Tap water in there. It's not that big of a deal. No, I know, but like I needed more. You want, you want to control the water flow? Or you want me to just do this? Yeah, that's fine. Like that? Uh, I just was going to give you something small to get the water. Oh. Surprisingly, that worked. I didn't think it would. Now you're going to swirl it around. There's all that water in there. It's a lot of water. Yeah. Uh, it's still not good. Make Jennifer it. usually drinks it with ice, like yeah. an ice ball. Yeah. Uh, I. There's a taste on like the, the back on that. That it's actually like, it's the really, like it's. I don't know how to describe it, but it's what makes it taste really good. <laughs> I just wish I would stop taking such a big freaking sip. Yeah, take a little sip. Relax. Yeah, but I like it. We've been drinking cocktails and like they go down. Relax. Like, it it's doesn't a, have it. Does it's it's a rye, but it doesn't have a lot of that musky funkiness that you get out of like a, no, uh, no, any other rye. More you get. peppery. Rye to me is peppery. Maybe some pepper. Yeah, it's not like it doesn't have that. This, no, this it definitely it feels like it's aged in some sort of. Wood, but not over oaked, just the right amount of oak. Because you can get like, even with like uh, wines, you can get like Californias that are just like super over oaked. That oh, just, yeah. Like, oh, this isn't that good. Let's just throw it in oak for a couple of weeks. This doesn't have like that hidden oak trying to hide any imperfections, but it's not too musky. I don't know. It's simple, it's strong. Well, it's, it's like a little sweet. Like, yeah, it kind like, of no, reminds I mean, not me. like sugary right. sweet, but like a. The taste profile is not the same, but it reminds me of the lightness out of like an Irish whiskey. Like it, but yeah, outside Irish of the whiskey fact has that that like shit out of you. Sometimes, yeah. yeah. But it doesn't, It it's light and airy versus like a bourbon or even some of the ryes I've had that are tend to be a little heavier. You well, know? you know what's funny? Because it's not as like, like bourbon sometimes are much sweeter. Yeah. More caramel. Like this definitely doesn't have that. No. I mean, it might just be because I can't get it all the way down my throat before it's <laughs> completely evaporated into my system. Um, it smells like, it doesn't even have a, like an oaky smell, but it does kind of have like a, like a white pepper smell, but it doesn't have like a lot of peppery taste. It's mm. not spicy. I'm going to try slow. Yeah, too slow. Like mm. chew it a little bit. This is a sipper. Like I don't think you put this in a cocktail. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. Especially at the price point. I mean, we do stupid things like put really expensive bourbons into cocktails, but like... We've tried it. Yeah, bourbons tend to be more bold. This is just going to be... You're going to lose most of this flavor. Like, all yeah. the nuances of that flavor is like with water, and that's it's it. It's strong, though. Yeah, my lips are going numb. I mean, this has got to be it. You know what it is? I think maybe it's the apricot, like... Like the... At the end, like... A little aroma, fruity aroma to it. Yeah, it's... 
simple. Mm. It's not like super explosively bold. It's fiery, <laughs> but it makes a nice sipper because it's not like it. You, you, you could keep doing this, assuming you watered it down a little bit. And yeah, and it, it, it definitely. Out. Like I like it on. I like yeah. like I actually drink a, a lot of like my but bourbon and have, whiskey on ice. It doesn't have like when you're looking at scotches, they tend to be smoke driven or you know like heavy in a different way. Yeah, this has more like light character across the spectrum. It doesn't have any one thing that it's doing that makes you go, oh, I don't like. I, the thing is, I don't think you can not like it because it doesn't have any unlikable flavors that are popping. Mm. I think, but it is ninety dollars, so it's not. Cheapest. Well, if you want a sipper. Yeah. But I mean, most uh, that's not out of... Mo not most good bourbon rye. or whiskey or rye is going to cost you 60 at, to, at 100, to 100 bucks. 120 yeah. proof, basically. It's like 60 bucks for Knob Creek, 120. Right? And that's definitely going to be more like oaky and buttery. But yeah, but that's just like strong. Like, yeah. like this has like yeah, this some is, unique flavor to right. it. That's so strong that if you drink it straight, you almost lose some of the flavor because your mouth, you just, it just exercises yeah. your senses. It's so strong. This one, at least, it kind of keeps everything going, which is nice. It doesn't take over and destroy you. And that's like, like, what is that? The 19, what is it? A, this no, one? that one right there. Oh, uh, this is, no, I have the small version of this. The uh, 1792. Yeah, so I have oh, yeah, like the, got, uh, yeah, I have yeah, the strong one. 93. And like I would much rather drink this because <laughs> it's just it's just strong, right? You know what I mean? Like even strong on for ice, the sake of being strong, strong. it's just strong yeah. for being like strong. Like this actually like has some like flavors and some nuance to to yeah. like the taste and. So what is your favorite? Like you've had different barrels. Like I I want to try other ones, but they're all. So we, you've tried the one at our house, the one with the. We, we, the I've had it in the Amaro old fashioned. Yeah, I probably had it straight, but yeah. Like, we You've had it straight. Yeah, you've had it straight at ours. But, and I've had, so the only other time in, I don't know if I, I've probably told this story before, but the only other one I had was when we did that seminar with uh, Warren Bobro came over and he brought over Barrel. I think one of the higher end yeah, ones. It was still really good. But it was laced with so much uh, THC that I couldn't remember my name. Yeah. Like, it was really good. It was really good, though. Like, like oh. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, we were like completely roasted, and he just left. We either sat around staring at each other for five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, was it wasn't five minutes. It was like an hour and a half. Was it? Okay. Yes. It was either five minutes or three hours. Yeah. <laughs> we, like we had no. Same time that Lincoln went home and almost no, that was different. Oh, that, that was that, that was that, the my gym. That, yeah, that was a different night. <laughs> no, that same same guy did the same thing, but he brought over the barrel. He made the gin when we were here, and so we were tasting it, and it was like. You couldn't taste that the THC or any like that. It didn't taste like organic green. No. So it tasted like barrel. And I'm like, I've never had barrel before. So I was like, a couple sips, mm. maybe a shot. Well, this shit was like really potent. Well, and it was really good too. That was the yeah. first time I had ever had a laced spirit. He's like, well, you got to understand like it, it's alcohol soluble. So it fits right in. And it, I'm like, okay, I understand the science. Super high. Yes. Right. And he's always high and he, he didn't care. And that wasn't it either. That was like we had that and we had the chin and a couple hits. Yeah. It was, it was insane. So that is, I don't remember the experience. I remember what it kind of, it was good. Yeah. But I don't remember what it tastes like and I don't remember anything after that. This at least I can have straight. I probably had had yours, but I know there's like a line of like four of them or five. Yeah. Of them. yeah what's, we've, we've tasted, we've tasted the whole line. And it was probably because we almost bought the seagrass. But it made my lips numb. <laughs> and then she, but she really likes the Amaro. Yeah. And so, what is that one called? The one we have? Yeah. It's probably got a fancy name to it. She's got to go. But so far, I've liked all the different barrel products I've had. The problem yeah. is they, they, this is like the cheapest of them. Yeah. No, they're all like, well, because they're all cast strength. Yeah. Yeah. Which, yeah. Like, you know, they don't really need to be. Their whole, yeah, their whole line is cast, I know, right? that's their thing. And then I, because I think we even, I think their strongest one was like, it was over like 120. Like it was insane. That's crazy. It was like 126 or something. And it was fucking strong. And it was just like, because, and then they had their like regular like bourbon. Yeah. And that was good. Yeah. Um, and then they had a regular rye. What is it? Armida. Armida. Yeah. Armita. So Armida is one that we have. And that so it's an arm up. But if Barrel wants to send us, oh yeah, dude, yeah. the whole lineup, we will we will review it. Even if you give us small bottles, although I'd rather have like normal size yeah. to display them. But yeah, you know, 
Like, that would be fun. Yeah. So, go get yourself a bottle of Barrel. Go to their Or if website. you think you're better than Barrel, you could send us yeah. your hey, product, that too. pretty good. That's true. Oh, that's good. That's we'll good. do that yeah. one. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll do this one. Uh, All right. Pear brandy, rum, and Sicilian. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so, so it's, it's, it's like the brandy because that's apricot brandy, right? Yeah, it's, it's similar there, to, to yeah. this. It's just it's like, that one's a little, probably a little bit more sweet, like sweeter yeah, on the tongue. Yeah, this grass is finished in Martinique. It's Martinique. Yeah. It's funky. It's good the funk. Yeah. It's good though. Oh, yeah. Whew. That stuff's strong. All right. Well, there you go. Go get yourself some barrel. Go to the website. Hit their email. Say you should send this to Common Man Cocktails. <laughs> so they can review it right. more. That's it. We're teaching you how to drink. Barrel. Hmm?